So before we get started, I want to tell you that I think you're amazing and that I appreciate you being here. And then I hope that you will achieve the journey in life that you want to have. So for me to help you with that, today I will teach you how to set up your project tasks using the Trello platform. So that with your next project, you'll be able to finish it completely at its finest state. So let's get started. So what we have here is actually a simple dashboard, which is empty. The only thing you can see here are some templates, which are quite popular, but we're not going to be using any templates because especially if you are a beginner, these templates are way too difficult for you to actually understand and work with for the first time. So what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be creating our own board from scratch. So let's click on the create your first board button. Now let's give it the title name. So let's assume the project that we're working on is a quiz. And then just click create. And here's the cool thing about Trello. Trello already made three sections for us. One is to do, the second one is doing, and the third one is done. And reading by the title, you probably already know what these are about, but I'm going to recap it for you just to be sure. To do is for the, for the tasks that you still need to do. Doing is for the tasks that you're currently working on at the moment. And done are the tasks that you already finished. So to get started, let's add our own first card just for fun. So let's assume we didn't even create the quiz project yet. So that's going to be our first task. It's going to be create project. And now this is not really that much detail. So in most cases, when you create a task, you want to add detail to it. You want to add a checklist, maybe a date that states, hey, this task has to be finished before tomorrow, let's say. So now you can just click on the card and you, click add, and you can add a description. So let's add create the project under the personal workspace folder. And now let's add a member. Well, in this case, we don't really have to add a member, but personally, I prefer always adding myself because then it's more clear and more obvious. And the second one is going to be labels. Well, by default, there are already a few labels, but they are not named yet. So the first thing that I usually do is I add priority labels. So based on the priority, those are the tasks that I will be doing first. So since creating a project is very important, let's add that as a high priority. So first click on the little pencil next to the red color here, if that's the color that you want to use. And let's add high priority, actually it says it already. So that's kind of nice. And then just click on save. And then click once again on the high priority. And now the label has been added to the card. The second one is going to be a checklist. So creating a project doesn't really require a checklist. So the checklist will be for our next card. Now the date. Let's take a look into the date. So let's say you want to have the project created before tomorrow. Tomorrow, that's the deadline of when your project must be created. Just the base project, not your entire project. So it's tomorrow it's the 27th. And let I want I mean imagine I want it to be created before 4 p.m. I'm just gonna stay like this. So now click on save. And now you can say it says due date tomorrow at 4 p.m. So that's quite nice. You can add some attachments if you'd like. You can go OneDrive, Dropbox, everything. You can add a nice cover to the top, which I'm not going to do. So yeah, that's it. So now let's click on the close button and now let's add another card. Let's add a card. Hmm. Create questions. Let's add a description. Uh, create a list of questions. course let's add it to the member which is myself well it's a high probably a high priority but now let's add a checklist and I usually 
call this tasks. Oh. And now let's actually add each question that we're going to add as a task. So let's imagine we have a question called what is the capital of the United States? So add question what is the capital of the United States? Add. Let's add a second question. Add question what is the capital of the Netherlands which is where I am from and now let's let's add one more question add question what language do they speak in the Netherlands so imagine we just add three questions to our own quiz so now we actually start working on a project and you're actually adding the questions you can just tab these now you see 33 percent done 67 and 100 percent you can also unselect them so that's quite nice you can keep track on hey which tasks or which items on this checklist have I been have I finished already? Of course, let's add a date, also tomorrow, but let's instead let's do ten before ten PM tomorrow. Click on save. Due tomorrow. And by the way, you can just add it like this too. I mean you can click on the little checkbox here. So imagine you have finished your task, you can also check it on here. So you can actually see it in the card list that you finished it. So you can keep track. So let's close it again. So adding these cards to one of the other sections is very easy. You just drag it like this. Like, oh, oh now I'm doing the project. Boom, now I've been finishing this task. So yeah, that's basically it. And as long as you keep properly track of your tasks, try to set up tasks every single day. <clears throat> working on a project is going to be way easier and yes this is a quite a short video and this is basically the easiest and simplest way of keeping track of the tasks that you want to do for your project so actually hope hopefully as a beginner you learned something from this because i actually see many beginners not knowing how to set up the tasks properly they don't even know proper platforms to use it and trello is free it's completely free there they have like a free trial ish but you don't have to pay anyway so I recommend you using that one. Link in the description to actually log into the page. And yeah, hopefully you actually learn something properly from this. So again, you're amazing. And I hope you achieve what you want to achieve as a software developer. So hopefully I'll see you in the next video.